Hello there everyone, thank you for joining me here. Of course, continuing the campaign in Old World Blues, A to Z series, which we're playing as the very upside-down L-shaped hangdogs. Go figure, at the end of the last episode I wanted to go to war with the uh, Seth Warband, or no, the Chain Choir. But they're being the, getting the beat, the crap beaten out of them from the Seth Warband. So I'm going to go to Rapo Rollins Federation, their force in the defense, led by Chief Orange Sky. And then we're going to go take the Baron's Iron because I want more money. I'm, I'm feeling a bit greedy, I'm not going to lie. I'm a bit of a greedster. If I can't have real, a lot of money in real life, I guess the next best thing is like, taking in a lot of money in a video game. I suppose. Ooh, yes. Since it's concerned before we corn more stuff, 20% discount and corn stuff is super nice. Uh, we're going to come over here and do this because we do need someone new. Yeah, that's fine. Why not? Because right now, we do have uh, increasing our power. It's going to take quite a while to get through, but I want to start us off. Oh, the Commonwealth. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. The Region Council. Oh, man. Can they actually, without a strong leader, do anything? Where's the uh, focuses for them? Well, all right. What is this? The Fox in the Hen's House. Oh. Well, good luck, Commonwealth. You're going to need it, probably. Scanners found something. Bonus of land auction. Well, we're working on that to get to the next version of land auction, because we did finish our land auction in the last episode. And in this episode, we're just going to keep going to war as much and as fast as we can. So, But we'll see about that in just a little bit. So, uh, the Baron's Irie. They're not attacking us, and we should do okay trying to break into the lands. There is a river between us and there, but... Um, I'm going to show you the very beginning of this war. Hopefully we can break across. Like I said, the river kind of sucks, but we're doing all right. We do have uh, Lupa Capitolina here to help us out. As we are trying to just destroy enemy divisions like crazy. That's basically all we're trying to do right now. So. Uh, but now we got trap and attackers unlocked. Oh my god. Yes. Cool. And we probably want to start making some of those guys. Nice chariots. Uh, we, I don't know if we'll actually use chariots or not. We'll see. No, you do this. You do that. I gotta have them chariots, man. I gotta. But yeah, fighting over the river really sucks. Uh, 29 versus 215. That's pretty good. But it looks like. You know what? You did that. We're going to do that anyways. I want more political power. Um, old world tactics. Conventional warfare. That's decent. What if we went refined? Well, that, would, that means we need to use heavy special forces. Hmm. Right, because purity. Paratrooper. Well, I guess technically, no, you don't have to go heavy special forces. I mean, this one buffs it, but. Principal. That's power armor support. Heavy. So, the principal is more important than purity. Construction of the big candles, of course. Um, automated warfare wouldn't do anything for us. Conventional is not bad. Outsider warfare. It doesn't really help us either. So it's either down between refined or conventional for us. I wish you could go down both the wasteland and ancient tactics for asymmetric. But flexibility command. Purity. Pure dogs. Air superiority. Scorched earth. Honestly, that kind of sounds kind of like us. We don't get the benefits of the heavy special forces. But we can apply everything else. More breakthrough, more soft attack. We don't discriminate here. Airborne assaults. Dogs flying in the air, scorched earth. We salt the earth, so why not? Screw it, why not? We're gonna go refine warfare. Stonks. Elite tactics. Mm. Oh, where are we at now? Oh, we broke over the river, that's good. We lost, what, 500, 700 versus 3,000? Decent. Seeing some manga prospectors, long range radio. Just trying to catch up with all this tech stuff, man. Pain in the butt. And we need to go to war by July 6th. So that's not going to happen anytime soon. Okay. Uh, we just five. It's going to be 80 days. 90 days. Not that far away from these guys. Go, 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 go. Oh, we actually overran a couple divisions. Nice. And... 
Wait, and that's it. Yeah, it is it. Nice. Cool. Um, honestly, they're just gonna spread out anyways. I need you guys to get over here fast. You five go there. You eight go there. You twenty go right there. You other twenty go right here too. There you go. Nice. Store the UA, USA FA solar plant. If you don't know about that, please go right ahead. Sure, why not? Nice. Oh, they're actually attacking us. Go figure. After them, mm, foragers would probably be best, maybe. We've got 90 days, I'll take time. Probably. Maybe. There you go. Construction of the big kennels, build a better future. Might as well, right? Build up a lot of cities and whatnot. Uh, like I said, we started coring more stuff. Uh, just towels all up and around these areas. So, 5,000, 2,000. This one's probably better for almost 13,000. Boulder ish. Yeah, Boulder. I've been there. Actually, I've been there. I've been in Colorado. I haven't been to Denver. I didn't. I've been to the airport there in Denver, but that's pretty much it. Side channel attack is good. Pulse code modifications. Ah. Good, good. Fine, we, we can do that. I'll be generous on occasion. Fine. Cool. Leadville's ours. We love Leadville. So let time pass on just by a little bit here first. Alright. Oh, beautiful. Exactly what we wanted. I'll let y'all do that. And then you five are going to stay right there. And then we're going to get a fat 20 stack. Than so we really want to claim all of Colorado. And continue increasing our division counts. Uh, so that way we can go to war with the Legion. Who is actually suffering from the She State. I actually might... I don't know. I want to see the Legion do well. So we might do some funky stuff with the NCR to make sure that they do... Alright. We'll put it like that. Nice. Boy, she can have a lot of divisions, can't she? So, what else are we at? 8,000, 5,000, but a lot of slots. Can't quite do that one. And this one it opens up more pathways through here. I wouldn't mind Corn Fort Desolation. That's pretty good, too. Uh, sure, why not? Complicated circuitry, more research speed, of course. Good, good, good. And we're going to do all this. We read this last, last time, but blasting the ruins, honestly. There's a great deal of blue in the ruins, but much of it is inaccessible. Let's fix that. Demo ma'am. Grenades are most useful as long as you don't drop them. Big Bang. Salvaging explosives are just explosives by any other name, after all. The Army of Denver. Let all who stand before us tremble. The great armies of Colorado stand ready to face any foe. Any foe, I we say. Any, any, any foe. Cool. So we got all of this one. These ones will do. Tactically applied to digging. We can use explosives to access old mines and salvage. There's a lot of learning in the old books if you know where to look. Digging up the bones. There's a lot of salvage throughout Colorado. Why leave it in the cold ground for the Brotherhood or others to get? Begging up the bot's bone drop. Taking out a city of robots with human flesh has been painful, but not without its advantages. Our elite forces are wolves among sheep compared to our foes and scavenging power armor. Why should the Brotherhood be the only ones in Colorado with power armor? We can scavenge it too, especially from old, cold, dead bodies. Which is not bad, but only get intermediate power armor tech. I mean, you really want to get advanced. And strip power armor just... It's not as much fun. And this will give us what? Two infrastructure? That's nice. Um, It'd be nice to just jump over here, but we can't quite. 4,000, 2,000, 6,000 is not bad. We'll go right there. Do this one next, two? Oh, you might as well. Two for one. Oh. Yeah. The Staff of Warband's actually doing really well. I don't usually ever see him do that well, but. Is it Helky? Helky the Ripper. Pretty. Something. Yeah. I'll say it was pretty something there. Um, well, 12 days left. That's not bad. Two a day. Pretty decent overall. Increasing your power. That'll be expiring in the next month. Local innovation is good. 
Um, the other compliance, yeah, they the devs have definitely added compliance because it's definitely been changed quite a bit. Oh, I didn't realize this one up here too. My bad. All right, get over there. Let's still make more division, which is good. Thirteen. Continue to help settlements. There you go, nice. We're over first, and now we're just gonna go to town on them. So they want, oh, that's not good enough. There you go. When does this expire again? The 11th, so in two days, and we'll start just finding someone else and we'll just go to war with them. Ah, refined. There we go. Are right, going in because we should have air superiority already. It's a beautiful thing. Keeping Colorado safe. Ah, moving in already. Love it. Help him out. Let's take a little bit of time. Point to three every day. It's not very much honestly at all. Unfortunate. Optimized training though. Demo man. I knew we wouldn't be able to break over the river very easily, and we have no money. Interesting, you completely abandoned that area, but alright. Sure, why not? Two V6. Can we win? Well, maybe. Because after these guys, we're going to war with the Cyphers, too. Oops, I guess I didn't give you any orders. My bad. Do the best you can. Do you have any ciphers broken? Still working on them, huh? Sucks. It's good to cut off, though. There you go. So you told me you got all the way around. Did you lose any divisions? What happened here? Oh. Well, oh well, I guess we'll fight the NCR maybe. Or maybe not. Let's just take all of Colorado as much as we can. The NCR got very greedy in this campaign. Who are you led by? Guys, can we keep going? Come on. I need y'all to do better. Patrolman, because infantry can only do so much. Sucks. Yeah, fighting rivers is just garbage. Nice. Come on, infantry, do better. Demo man. Big Bang, Grenades, lovely stuff. In free tech, we don't have to spend time, you know, researching. There we go. Dead Horses is done, that's nice. Ah, finally, thank God, Jesus. Took a little longer than I would have liked, but uh, whatever. This way too, why not? There you go. Cyphers. Put 
there. Oh, yeah, we help. We actually put you there. Side piece. Classic explosives. The guardians declared war on them, huh? Well, as strong as they can be. I they're gonna do that well. Just saying. Pueblo Capital Depot. Sure. Dead horses. Looks like 40 cases. Of course, we're expanding it out this way, maybe a little bit more, perhaps. Um, and then we'll wrap around here. Yeah, they do have part of West Colorado. I don't think anyone can really take on the NCR at this point. I mean, we probably could. I could muster things around, but do I really want to do that? Probably not. I guess we're taking parts of Wyoming, too. It's pretty nice. One week left, and what do you have for us, sir? Give me your projects, huh? Cool. Ah, go ahead. Doesn't matter too much. It's gonna take some time, anyways. Hundred days. Oof. Um. Miniaturized circuitry, huh? We'll take it for now, I guess. But once they want even more control of us, I want to say absolutely not. And if they want to attack us, I'm okay with that too. Get in your base here. And we already have some radar here, which is pretty decent. Alright, even more chaos. Big grass, huh? Cool. Well, if they want to attack us, I'm okay with that. Big ol' bang in the army of Denver. Oh, I should've done this one before. Then that one. New tricks. Contrary to the old adage, we've learned a great deal. Let us hold our head high among the civilized world and then conquer it. Bring in robots to heal. It's time to break those robots apart once and for all. They must learn that they work for us, not with us. For us, not with us. Well, dogs, we've seen much conflict and we'll see much more. Well, let's prepare for battle. We'll enter the customs union with them. Certainly not like the NCR. I have to end up taking them out. It's like dinner or lunch, you know, something, something nice. Now, is there any other waterway around here? I'm sure there's. We've got the cross. Red sun. Let's work our way around here real quick. If I don't want us to listen to some guy all the way over in Shady Sands who has no right to make any demands. Of us. You're only gonna start doing well. Uh, because, well, it's probably not a dream of, of the manpower. So, we're not gonna allow ourselves to come up to the NCR just a little bit once we get down there. We're almost down there, too. So, Oh, they immediately go to war with us. Okay. That's not cool. So, we're gonna finish up this stuff. We're gonna do a lot more focuses here. Um, sea Dogs. Who says we can't use the Arkansas tribute to Raider neighbors? No, and that's who. Pitbulls. We are the masters of Dog City, no one will take that away from us. We've driven all who threaten our rule from the city, and we'll always will. Jaws of victory. Behold the greatest army in the East. Bite makes right. Let others wail about justice and morality, the way Solomon belongs to the strong, and we are, of course, the strongest. Well, this action has actually gone a lot better than I imagined. Right now. We've lost about 3,000, almost 4,000, uh, you know, people. But we delivered over almost 30,000 ourselves. I tabbed over to see why we were doing so well, because you can see we've died, taken quite a bit of territory. It's all because NCR has like no equipment left. 
their uh, constant wars with other people have drained, not their manpower, but just their equipment. They have like nothing left for equipment, which is you know, fine with us. Um, this infantry equipment, basic melee weaponry, pipe guns, yeah, they're, they're like out of stuff, which makes it super easy to take people out. It's like taking out China and, um, and vanilla. It's like, they have infinite manpower, basically. But as long as they run out of guns, you'll be fine. No issues whatsoever. For the most part. So, um, we're just gonna keep trucking on and having a good old time here. And, yeah, I didn't think we'd end up taking out the NCR eventually, but it looks like we will. Mlaya has done very well, too. Oh my goodness. Um, you know what? It'd probably be good to do New Citizens Care Package. How much money do we actually have? 315. I and mean, we have a lot of territory to cover. I like the non... Um, we get... That's, that's manpower. You know what? We'll do that one first. Why now? We'll do the manpower one. And... Uh, are, we, are we out of guns? No, we actually are doing decently in guns, too, ourselves. We're doing more than fine. The game's a little slow, but I mean, what do you expect when you're waging a continent to war, basically? You know. Um, anything else around here? Sure, air stuff, why not? Naval stuff? Sure, why not? Land stuff? Sure! Why not? But yeah, once this war's over, it should go a little bit more smoothly for us because it is a, just a wee bit laggy. Hello. Oh, you guys have nothing to do, huh? Well, that's a shame. How about you guys come over here, because these guys definitely are going to need some help. I don't know why they stock about everything over here. Oh, it's all the little other guys around there, too. Oh, where are you guys at? Oh, right, defenses are online. Good! Special forces just help them out there. Just beat the crap out of them. My god, is it laggy. Oof. But looking good so far, man. You can tell there's a lot of lag when you have like five seconds for auto saving. Whew. Mm, have fun with this one. Because right now there are they're still pushing into the Vipers and the Guardian Brotherhood and the Ripe well no, actually Ripeble territory has pushed them out. Huh. Climate territory, she state's looking pretty thick. How strong is the she state right now? Because I just don't uh oh. Oh, there goes the Ripple Territory, then. She stayed, led by Lopan. No manpower. And we've tactically applied digging. Nice. A digging up the old bones. Yep, if we need the skin, please go ahead. Cool. Let's keep pushing. This is going to be more of a struggle down here a little bit. Because of the She and all the NCR extra territories and whatnot. Go right here. You should be a pretty... Zap them pretty easily. Then you'll insert another division, destroy them. Good stuff, of course. Um, but yeah, the, of course, a lot of the territory we're taking right now, they're not, it's not even core territory of the NCR. They still have over 250 divisions, which really sucks. But once we can push them out of this territory and down through this part of Mexico, we, it, things should get a little better for us. Ah, beautiful. Look at that. Tombstone. Never been. I'd like to go someday. Nice. Good. Just keep on going in. Heavens gets looking like they want to expand. Good. Oh, and I guess the Sky Reavers are doing decently against the NCR as well. Good. Very good. I'm out down there too. But I mostly want to show you the progress we're making, why it's so easy for us to actually make progress. And, uh, hey, they lost another division, so I'll see you when, right after they collapse, or maybe right before they collapse. Frumentari. Finding Frumentari to interrogate proved harder than expected, with many of the suspected members passing off as other prisoners and even guards. We lost track of most of them, and more than probably a few escaped, but in the process got a clear picture of what their real purpose is, to slip behind enemies uh, and to blend in and cause chaos for the enemy. Turning these tactics against a culture as unified as the Legion is going to be hard, but with enough Legionaries or Legionnaires to study, we're already getting the cleverest hangdog, uh, hangdogs ready to try. Sheathe these slippery dudes on sight. And right now we're just going to 
buff from up right there from entire officers. What does that look like? Also, we did get uh, centurions too, um, but I don't want to show you what it is. Uh, from entire officers, more breakthrough, 25% more breakthrough. Jesus Christ, and more soft attack. Well, centurions gave us plus five percent, plus a flat five organization. So you see, the NCR is dead, and now it's time for us to just wreak havoc against uh, the she state. Um, we lost 16,000, which is quite a bit, but we've done 90% of all the damage. Uh, they also went to war, the NCR went to war with the Protectron Security Hub, and Laya, so... Overall, I'm not upset about that. We're doing greatest of the pack, though. What well, a good boy you are, yes you are, what? Dogs are loyal as well as fierce, and so is bears his teeth, so... Remove sharper teeth, which kinda sucks. But we replaced the Scrap Metropolis with the Scrap Empire, so looking better, and we get more attack. Scrap Empire, huh? Ah. So we actually get 30% more better consumer goods, that's pretty good. Alright. And then Howling Victory. We defeated Lanius and now we stare against the Legion. Whatever the next comes next is a glorious day for us, which is pretty good. And actually, that gives a minus percent core creation cost, which would have been nice, but whatever. Arizona Barbecue. We've heard that the Brahmin of Arizona are finger looking good, and also that the cities are full of salvage. With control of an empire from Flagstaff to Colorado, we'll own the heartland and ensure our dogs are never chained. Sounds good to me. As we're going to try to take out San Francisco. So basically, we're sort of becoming the, the Legion in the end. All the territory of the Legion, and most, almost the vast majority of Colorado, and even parts of New Mexico, Arizona, California, Baja California. Now it's going to become ours. Because why not? We deserve it, do we not? Uh, train knowledge is nice. Uh, reconnaissance? Sure, why not? Uh, with that in mind, we have plenty of manpower now, which is pretty nice. Come on, we got to break across. Who, who's actually here? You. I'm not going to be defeated no matter what in the end anyways, so I'm not super concerned about it. You go ahead there. Right there, I'm just pushing. Leave you guys over here or something. I don't see we don't need any more divisions for now. Cool, but we're the greatest of the pack. Which is fantastic. A howling victory. Oh, look at that. Hey, look at that. Ah, we broke over. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Here, force it. Oh, now this after's done? At, literally as soon as we're done with that. Alright, whatever. So you click on all of it. But a lot of this I'm not going to take over here. Because I honestly don't want to deal with this. But we'll see. Um... And we had probably roughly 90% war score participation, so... I mean, in the end, we'll be able to probably take most of this anyways. So, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's ours. Thank you very much. Oops. Thank you very much. Excuse me, we'll take all of it. And there you go. God dang, it's laggy. Bro, the hangdog's looking pretty good. We definitely got way more than I thought we would. Nice. I could do a lot here too if we really wanted to, but... Honestly? I'd like to do these, but we didn't get that far yet. So, I'm sorry we didn't get to these ones, but... It is what it is. Uh, all you get pretty much is cyber dogs, if I remember correctly, but I think I might just end the campaign there. We did really well overall. Hang dogs, a lot of fun. Unique, fun, amazing. So, if you enjoyed the campaign, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.